Only 29 more days until hockey season begins. To get you in the mood, James Van Riemsdyk of the Toronto Maple Leafs joins us to celebrate the launch of NHL 15. It's the newest generation of hockey games. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You're a fantastic morning person. We just had Ron McLean in, the legendary. And here you are doing your thing and enjoying some time off. Have you been, have you been testing this out, NHL 15? You know what? I haven't gotten a chance to... Play yet, but I've seen obviously some of the trailers and stuff, and I'm uh, definitely very excited to get my hands on it and uh, start playing. Okay, what makes it so amazing? I hear we're looking at some of it right now. Kev and Brad. Kev's never done oh, this. Oh, I scored! Oh, I scored! He did! What, what are the odds? On my own net! I odds? scored! <laughs> Beginner's luck, Kev, oh, sort of. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the features. I hear there's brand new commentators. Yep, they have the NBC Sports team this year with uh, Eddie Olchek and uh, Doc Emmerich, which is always pretty cool. And then they have all the arenas this year in the games, too. So all the individual kind of aspects that each arena has, and uh, that'll be cool to see as well. And seeing is believing. Look, these two are acting like yeah. kids again. <laughs> it is competitive, and it feels so real. The images are so crisp. All the <laughs> movements are so crystal clear. So that's really come a long way. Definitely. I mean, now when there's a video game on at home, and playing with my brothers or something, my mom thinks we're watching an actual game, so uh, she definitely gets fooled a bit. I was going to say, so when you guys are playing against one another, you know, I imagine you guys do, who is the biggest gamer on the team with the Leafs? Uh, by far, Bozak, so he's, uh, he's all, the one to all sorts of different games, but yeah, he's uh, definitely on there quite a bit. And another cool thing we need to talk about, uh, Alicia Cuthbert was on the show not too long ago, and she was showing us the Ice Bucket Challenge, her and De uh, Dion Phaneuf. But you were the start of it all. You were the one that put them up to the ice bucket challenge. Yep, I was the instigator, and uh, I thought it'd be cool to see both those guys get on there and do it. Obviously, you see their great view that they have here uh, on the place. Although you have a you have a beef, James. You said, and their little dog too. Yeah, I did call out Pearl too. They, I mean, I don't know if that would have been necessarily healthy for the yeah, dog. Yeah, maybe not. But, I'm glad they didn't uh, put Pearl in yeah. on that. Their little doggy. <laughs> So what's next for you? What are you looking forward to? I mean, it's, 20, it's 25 days, 29 days away. Exactly. You're gearing up? This is the time of year where the itch is really here, and we're all very excited to get started. And obviously, we're all gathering now in Toronto. And Sorry, I can't hear you over the <laughs> cheers and screams from when Kevin and Brad, who are way too watch engaged. This, watch this. Watch this. NHL 15. Uh, I, I just like Kevin Frankish score on me. My life is You great. did not <laughs> let me score on you. Look at this. Here's the replay. Lufel. Watch Lufel here. Uh, here we go. Yes. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, instant replay. Oh, oh okay. yeah. There you go. And the crowds go wild. You're never going to be able to take them away from that now. Thanks. You did a good job there. <laughs> I'll pass it along. So tell me a little bit about what you do over the summer. I'm always curious. Do you take time off to just do nothing because you spend so much time traveling? Yeah, definitely. I mean, usually for a couple weeks after the season, I'll go on a, a trip or two. And then after that, you get into kind of your training routine for the summer. And then you go from there. Yeah, and you I imagine you see family as well. Yeah. And there has been so much talk going into this season. You said it feels like a band of brothers. You feel like you're home. You're loving Toronto Maple Leafs. Yep, Toronto's a great city ever since I've gotten here I've been welcomed with uh, open arms by everyone in the city and the group of guys that we have together is a great group of guys a special group and hopefully this year uh, we can get off to a good start and I'll go from there well all the best to you thank you so much for being here uh, breakfasttelevision.ca follow him as many hundreds of thousands do at JV Reamer 21 come back anytime you're a morning person right. <laughs> a you are bit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> good for you uh, right now we're